Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, today, we're going to finish up step two of becoming a Jedi, which is getting our lightsaber and our class designation. So I hope you're looking forward to it, and I will see you in a moment. Who did he say to do a talk to? Uh, Master Dorak. Is that uh, him? Yeah. Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees great promise in you, as do I. The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. Uh, what? Uh, the Sith Codex? The Sith Codex does make a lot of... I actually really like that. I like seeing the pros and cons in both... Uh, the Jedi codes and, and, and the Sith codes. Like, the Jedi, I think, sort of, they do kind of handicap themselves in a way. It's just, basically, the Jedi and the Sith are two extremes of what is honestly a spectrum. The Force is just the Force. It's not good or evil, but, you know, the people who utilize it choose to be either super duper good or super duper bad. And that's why I like the idea that there's a gray Jedi route, like, that recognizes that there, it's the, the, the universe isn't just black and white, you know, that there's a lot of gray, basically. And so I like that. Yeah, Rain knows all, the, and his friend knows all the, was it War, Warhammer stuff or something? Oh, what colors are they? Blue is the color of the Jedi yeah. Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. Ooh. Sounds more like Confucius from the old code or the new code? Passion, yet serenity. Chaos, yet harmony. Yeah, I think it's like, it, instead of saying there is no passion, there is only serenity, I think it's better to recognize there is there is passion, yet you will follow serenity. There is chaos, yet you will follow harmony, you know? The old Jedi code, yeah, it sounds like it, it does. I have a, a message you gave me a poster ages ago with like some Confucius sayings that I really liked. I like the great Jedi code. Flowing through all, there is balance. There is no peace without a passion to create. There is no passion without peace to guide. Knowledge stagnates without the strength to act. Uh, power blinds without the serenity to see. There is freedom in life. There is purpose in death. The Force is all things, and I am the Force. Oh my gosh, that reminds me of Chirrut from Rogue One. I am one with the Force. The for I, I am the Force. The Force is with me. Or something. I really like that. Uh, okay, I don't. I think I kind of want to be a sentinel because it's a middle route. I like the idea of a uh, Jedi consular, but I'm not quite sure. What I think this character is more action oriented, but maybe not all the way a guardian. I don't know. What's um? What's Bastila? Because if she's going to be on my team, I don't want to have, like, multiple of, like, the same Jedi, you know? Does she even have a class? Sentinel's melee DPS and consular is range. I love it. Breakdown. Guardian is tank. I 
think I'd like to do the melee, maybe, but the way that you put it. She's a sentinel, too. Dang. Oh, she is a Padawan. She's not a knight. Clashing lightsabers would be so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. My tinge of green has a slightly different tinge of green than yours, and ugh. Leaf green and moss green do not go well together. Okay, I think I might be a Jedi Sentinel. But, but I, what if I, I don't know, I want to ask the other questions. Indeed. We shall see. Oh, okay. okay, okay, I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class you lean most oh, towards. Okay. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Um... I'd either help them flee or attack the thugs. Probably attack the thugs. Ooh, you can change colors? Excellent. I do tend to enjoy tank builds. I might go Guardian. The go- Yeah, yeah! Fallout 3- Well, Fallout New Vegas has one too. I like that as well. I don't know if goat test is goat test is the right word. I know Fallout New Vegas had like a a test that like uh, like a school test that like that like partitioned out your points and but you could rearrange them if you wanted to. Um, uh, the only reason I wouldn't choose attack the thugs is because I wouldn't want them to hurt the child and the mother or the woman. No, I mean, you can say you choose three. That's fine. That's cool. I, I, I wouldn't, but that's fine. I'd, I'd probably attack them. Indeed. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Um... Like this happens a lot in like the movies and the books and stuff on both sides like both sides are always trying to turn the other one and I don't it doesn't work very often four kill the ball ah then they'll know I'm a Sith for sure <gasps> what rain that sounds so cool exploring ancient Sith ruins frick yeah I probably would try that. Find out why he turned to the dark side and tried to turn Yes, up. I suspected as much. Oh, did you? Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? <laughs> Knock. Try to pick the lock. I am beginning to see a pattern here, Apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first... I'm the pretty final sure question. each one I've chosen. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. Has been the for dark a Jedi class. have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you er, do? Ah, right, Stone Smith. Just you. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I'd probably just use the Force to blast it down, which is basically aired. Okay, okay. The dark Jedi have infiltrated and causing unrest across the planet. Hunt them down. Try to lure them into a trap. Coordinate with the planetary government to identify the infiltrators. See, the one thing about, like, the Jedi and the Republic that's constantly brought up as, like, one of its good points, but also its weak points, is that because the Republic and the Jedi Council are run by councils, by groups, um, they tend to act slower than, a, than an organization that's run by one person. You know, and, and it, you think about it in, like, politics, like, regular politics, like, in real world politics and everything as well, it's like, you prefer to have a group because then they can like balance each other out and like one person having too much power can go to them, will almost often go to their heads um, if they're left in a position of power for any amount of time. Um, but it's, it's sometimes more effective to have one person, like sometimes in the book I'm reading right now, at one point, the guy who's like helping to run things, they end up, him and the other guy who's with him, they end up like, 
forcibly taking over the code for the Empire and the Republic people that are in the same area because they've been trying to get them to work together to defeat this other threat, but they keep breaking down. And so they're like, you know what? We need to get this done. And for the, for the good, for the good of everybody, like, to actually save everyone, they legitimately take over, like, all the, like, code and everything for both sides and force them, force their ships to do what needs to be done. You know, and it's like, that's the kind of thing that needs to happen sometimes, but at the same time, then, what happens after that? You know, if you have that power, like, you you keep thinking, this is for the good, this is for the betterment, this is for the good, and then you kind of just fall, you could just fall down a path of darkness. You know, it's cool. This would probably be the smarter one, but it might not be the faster one, you know? But hunting them down on my own, I'd have more resources if I coordinated with the planetary government, you know? Luring them into a trap could be good and bad, so we'll try this one. Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would be no. most suitable as a no. Jedi consul. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, apprentice? Um... Yellow. Dictators are people who give absolute power in dire times for the sake of the Republic. Each dictator ruled there six months and gave up their power willingly. With the exception of guys. Julius. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say it didn't. <laughs> right? Like, eh. See, and that's a system that was put in place. Yeah, I mean, it's a system that was put in place because they knew that at certain times they needed to have the absolute power to make the final decisions and they were they were given this power they were chosen as a representative by a group i assume and then they were like hey you're the one who has you're the best you're gonna be the best at this position and six months is a short enough time you know but then again what what happens if the if the war goes on longer or something you know and then they keep the power and then they keep the power but It was a system designed to prevent, you know, an o a, o a takeover in power, but it didn't work at one point, you know? Um... Maybe I'll just go tanky. Maybe I'll just go tanky. Team Instinct of Pokemon Go, you have to vote yellow? Oh my gosh. Uh, well, I am Team uh, Valor. So I'm obviously a Sith. Dang it. But since I value strength, I guess I'll go Path of the Guardian. Here is a blue crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again, and he will instruct you in how to construct it. <laughs> okay. Persuady tank ever. Obviously, red right, if it was an option. I'll go the exact opposite, which is blue, but since Valor values strength, then I'll go with the Guardian. Defeat. Yay! Okay, I have Jedi Defense, Force Jump, Jedi Sense, and Force Sensitive. Whatever that is. Is that down here further? Okay. Uh, lightsaber gives the character basic training in the use of lightsabers. If you use hand to hand melee. Oh, that was what we have, yeah. Uh, with a quick lightsaber to deflect blaster bolts at any time. When a character is fired upon, an opposed roll is made against the attack. If the result is greater than the attack roll, the blaster bolt is deflected. The attack is beaten by 10 or more, the bolt is deflected back at the enemy. Jedi classes receive this feat first, level 1. So, it's just, okay, so it's just like a passive ability. Uh, Jedi Defense. This feat allows a character with a equipped lightsaber. Wait, no, that's, that's Jedi Defense. Oh, and that's the melee. Okay, so that's Jedi Defense. And that's the, okay, that's the toughness. Jedi Guardian. Jedi knows that if diplomacy fails, combat must be switched indecisive. 
When an opponent at range is targeted with a standard lightsaber melee attack, this feat allows the Guardians to make a quick series of jumps and rolls to close the distance almost instantly. This feat is automatic when wielding a lightsaber and targeting opponents with a standard melee attack from more than 10 meters. Ooh, cool. Must have a clear line of sight. Okay, that's cool. So if I try to attack somebody who's far away, I'll get there instantaneously. Uh, Jedi Sense. The Jedi develops connection to the Force that allows him to better sense incoming attacks. This feat grants plus two to defense and is always active. Sweet! Uh, are, are the lightsabers one-handed or are they two-handed? I thought lightsabers were generally two-handed. Jedi training affects each Padawan uniquely, allowing them to grow an ability while addressing personal flaws. On rare occasions, however, exceptional individuals open doors to strengths they did not know they had. This feat represents a heightened connection to the Force, previously unseen in a, new, in a newly trained Jedi. This feat grants 40 additional Force points to the character's base total. Wow. So I already, I already have that one. When do, I want lightning hands, but I'll bet you they won't let us have lightning hands because in the audiobook I'm listening to, the, the Grand Master Jedi said that Force Lightning is a way to the dark side, and I was sad. I was sad. Um, plus three bonus. This one's a plus... There's no plus to it at all. Certain items may apply a bonus or penalty. Okay. Um. Oh, I can't get that one? Oh, I, I can't get it yet. I'm not a... Oh, oh level six Jedi. Okay. So I can't... Oh, I can't get those, but I could get this one. I guess I'll just add a bonus to my lightsaber. Since I'm already pretty tanky. I guess. Oh yeah. Eh, Pete. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll probably get Cure. Aura. When this power is activated, the Jedi is temporarily granted a plus two bonus to defense on all saving throws. It's restricted by armor. The power allows a Jedi to move very swiftly, pressing his or her body to physical limits. Movement speed is doubled and a plus two defense is gained. I think I might do the force resistance. Restricted by armor, like how so? Like how? Like what kind of armor do I have to wear for that? Do I have more? Okay, I have to go back to my my master guy over here. Ah, good. Now that you have selected your yes! crystal. We shall begin the construction In of your life. In young Jedi books, I always liked this part, or whenever they were, whenever they were gonna construct their lightsabers. The book I remember specifically showed uh, the boy and the girl had been kidnapped by, like, the dark side, and they both really wanted to make their lightsabers, but they couldn't. Um, like they they weren't ready yet. But the Sith guys were like, "You can do it," and they built their own lightsabers, and and well, the boy did. I don't know. Uh, and he eventually, at the end, figures out why he shouldn't have a lightsaber at this point, is basically how it turns out. Traditionally associated with a Jedi, lightsaber is a devastating weapon. Cool. Properties can vary with the type of focusing crystal used in construction. Oh, power crystals. Well, I want more power crystals. <laughs> oh! Uh, can I wear like Jedi armor? Like, do we? Is there Jedi? Look at it! It's so cool. Oh, oh! When you're not using it, it goes back into its sheath. Oh, so you can't run around with it. Oh man, 
playing. Oh, Stone Smith, no. No. You have done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. I'm an engineer. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. It is rare indeed for that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. <laughs> These me. crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves strong Kyber in the forest. crystals! By adding crystals to your lightsaber, <gasps> you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain Force-sensitive caves here Let's on go. Tatooine that may hold these crystals. Okay, so talking to to the D guy's name, Dor Dorak or something, um, there were some other questions I wanted to ask him. I didn't realize that the first. I thought I was going to be able to go through all three questions. What will these crystals do for me? They can modify simple things such as the color oh. of your blade, or complex ones such as crystals that reputedly increase the strength of the beam. But you must learn first to use your lightsaber and take care when drawing it. Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect, and the attentions of dangerous enemies. The Sith I and Dark Jedi skills. will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? I wanted to ask you the other questions. For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. Ooh, we get to go you to the dark side You must truly tunnel. understand this before you are accepted yeah. into the Order. You must see the corruption of the dark side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway, twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove, once used for deep meditation by the Jedi, is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cath Hounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers. A threat the Jedi have promised to stop. What's causing this corruption? The Cath Hounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. You know more than you're telling me. I can me. say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with apprentice. patience and care, and those on the dark path are not always lost forever. The dark side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the dark side has been stopped. This is your task, apprentice. May the Force be with you. Well, that's true, right? A threat the Jedi have promised to stop, so you have to do it anyway. Oh, man. Okay, so I have Cure. I don't need the Antidote Kits, probably. Sith Shield, Mag Fragmine, Mag, 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 Mag. Ready. Oops. Oh, look. Yeah, he doesn't need strength. He does like uh he does like stuff like this. He could probably use some more constitution though, to be honest. Yeah, let's give him some constitution. But yeah, I, I have to go and defeat the darkness now as my third and final test. Um recommended? Yeah, he's kind of my healer guy, I guess. Anything else? Um, I don't really like the rapid shot very much. Oh, recommended sniper shot. Okay. Or do you mean go with recommended on the other one? Oh, well, it's kind of too late now, but I'll go with the recommended sniper shot, I guess. Oh, wow. Used to quickly dispatch groups of easy to hit. Ooh. Oh, okay. 
Except. Her dexterity? Sure. Oh boy. <laughs> she gets a lot of points every round. Gearhead? Oh. She didn't have it. Oh, okay. Oh, but she's got the scoundrel stuff. That's cool. Jeez. What was, uh, so, okay. Yay. Hmm? Huh? Let's go take out some dark side stuff. And we're gonna leave it off on that cliffhanger. So the next episode, we'll be going out and taking out some dark Jedi stuff. Or dark, dark side, dark force. You know, words. Anyway, it's been a long morning so far. But thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one.